Hey everyone, I want to let you know we added something to the IMS uh, today that will allow you to add a Facebook pixel uh, to your agent website. If you're driving traffic to your agent website, um, this could be of use to you if you're um, spending money on Facebook, uh, trying to generate leads or um, but if you're not doing much marketing on Facebook that where you're actually spending money, uh, this probably won't be much use. Um, but some of you are, so we wanted to put it out there for everyone. Uh, a pixel is a small piece of code that you insert on the backside of your website that basically tracks visitors uh, to your site. One example of a use would be, uh, let's say you drove 100 people to your agent website one of those people persons registered gave you their name phone number and email but the other 99 didn't what the pixel will allow you to do is to set up an audience uh, in facebook business manager or your ad center account which is a another level deep from just boosting a post uh, takes some some getting used to but that's for another day um, but if you are have a business manager account, you are using Ad Center, uh, this may be of help for you. So you can set up an audience of everyone that visits your website. So the next time you come out with that great post uh, where you're talking about the market, you know, did a video or you got a new listing or whatever, and you wanted to advertise to everyone that has visited your website in the last 180 days, um, you could do that. You could create an audience based around uh, the information that this pixel will capture. I don't want to get too deep into this because it's it's a uh, it's a learning curve for people to to get into this, but uh, but some of you are out there and you're doing it. So what you're going to want to do is you'll have to set up a Facebook Business Manager account if you already haven't done so. Uh, this is a, a great video on YouTube. I'll share the link with you on how to set up your Business Manager account. But once you set that up. Uh, you'll also be able to set up an ads account. Um, it's going to look much different than when you just click boost a post, uh, but you can do it. And so you set up your business manager account. Okay, so now that you have your business manager account set up, what you're gonna do when you get into it, is click on these three little bars up here in the corner, and you're gonna wanna go to the business settings. And then go back to the left and go down to data sources and then click on pixels. I have a bunch of pixels already in here, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to create another one to walk you through the steps. Um, you're going to want to name your pixel. Um, let's just say Chris Google Hans new picks. And you can enter your website address in there if you want. You don't have to. Um, I guess I will just to be safe. Copy, paste, continue. And you're going to want to set up a new pixel. So click on that. And then the second option, manually add pixel code to your website. Click on that. This will pop up. You just put your cursor over this big block of code and click copy to clipboard. Click continue. You don't need to set up any events right now, so you can cancel that. Excuse me. And what you want to do is go over to the IMS, go under the logo, go down to my preferences, and there's a new option Facebook Pixel. Click on that. Click on this big button here, and then just copy, paste in your code that you copied from Facebook and click save. That's it. Now, if you want to verify that your pixel is set up and uh, is working you know, on your site, you can go to your personal website and there's something called a Facebook pixel helper. Uh, just type Facebook pixel helper into Google and download it for Chrome or your browser. And up here in the corner, you'll see this little blue with a two. You can click on that and you'll see that the pixel is actually, actually let me refresh this. And there right here, Chris Kukulhan's new pics 
has been installed on the website. So uh, this is the first step. Uh, many of you uh, that are marketing on Facebook and sending traffic to your website, I think this is something that you should do. Uh, I'll do another follow-up video in the future of how we take this one step further and maybe set up a custom audience so that when you create that awesome post on Facebook, um, you're not limited to just boosting it. You can actually target people that are interested in your brand. So if you have any questions, reach out. Hope everybody's having a great day.